riding Europe's right-wing populist wave. Anti-immigration SDS emerged as the largest party in Slovenia's parliamentary elections. But with only 25 seats, it now needs to form a coalition in order to reach a majority. The Slovenian Democratic Party is open for cooperation. The time ahead will need cooperation. Yet that may be easier said than done. The only party willing to work with the SDS, Nova Slovenia, only won seven seats, meaning an alliance would still leave them short of the 46 needed to form a majority. All of Slovenia's other parties, meanwhile, ruled out entering a coalition with SDS. Former comedian Marjan Saric, whose LMS party came in second with 13 seats, insisted after the vote that such an alliance was not an option. I congratulate the winner and wish him luck in assembling the government. However, we will stay true to what we said during the campaign. We will not join any government with the SDS. SDS leader Yanez Yansha, who served as prime minister twice in the past, campaigned on an anti-immigration platform, making common cause with Hungary's Viktor Orban. A strategy that appears to have struck a chord with voters, yet Yansa may now need to tone down his nationalist rhetoric in his search for new allies.